Hi everyone, hope you all are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss each and everything about GATE 2026. From eligibility criteria to exam pattern to syllabus, everything that you need to know even before starting your preparation. Those who are new to this channel, let me introduce myself. I am Parul Sharma. I am an architect and I did my master's from IIT Kharagpur in infrastructure design and management. I am the founder of ERI Academy. At ERI Academy, we provide classes for gate architecture and planning. If you are someone who is interested in taking classes for gate architecture and planning, all the details are given in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's start the video. In this video, all about GATE 2026, the first question that I want to address here is what exactly is GATE, right? And why is it important for you to prepare? Now, GATE is Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. In this exam, particularly, they want to test your aptitude and your comprehensive understanding of the undergraduate degree that you have done. In this video, we are discussing about architecture and planning. So everything related to architecture and planning, we are going to discuss that. GATE is a national level examination that tests your aptitude and comprehensive understanding as I told before. Now this is applicable for engineering, technology, architecture, science, commerce, arts, humanities for everyone. GATE is conducted by seven IITs and IISC. Every year, each IIT or IISC conducts this particular exam. In 2025, IIT Rudki conducted this particular exam and in 2026 IIT Guwahati is going to conduct this particular exam. Last time in 2018 IIT Guwahati conducted this particular exam of GATE. Now moving on to the eligibility criteria. In this if you are someone who is in third year, fourth year or fifth year of your BR degree then you are eligible to give this particular exam and if you are someone who is in third year or fourth year of your B plan degree, then also you are eligible to give this particular exam of GATE. And if you are someone who is in third year or fourth year of B tech civil engineering, then also you are eligible to give this particular exam. Or if you have completed or passed your BR, B plan or B tech, then also you are eligible to give this particular exam of GATE 2026. And the GATE score is valid for three years. So if you are giving in third year also, the score will be valid for three years. Now, moving on to the exam pattern, that is very important to understand even before you are starting your preparation. The syllabus, if you have gone through the syllabus, the syllabus is divided into three sections. Part A is the common part, that is the mandatory part. And part B1 is architecture and part B2 is planning. One thing here to understand is, Part A, that is mandatory part, part B1 and part B2. You can choose one from these two. For example, you can choose part B1 or you can go for part B2 and this choice, this option you will get while you are sitting there in the exam in February 2026. When you will be giving that particular exam, there you will have the option to choose between part B1 or part B2. Right. So make it very clear, even if you are, uh, you know, if you have, if you are someone who is doing BR, you can choose part B2 that is planning or vice versa. Even if you are someone who is doing or have done B plan, then also you can choose part B1. There is nothing, no problem will be there even uh, in selecting or choosing the college further. Right. So make it very clear. Don't worry about it, whether whichever uh, part you want to choose, you can. Now, if we see in part A, so there are seven sections that is architecture, and, architecture planning and design, construction and management, environmental planning and design, urban design, landscape and conservation, planning process, housing services and infrastructure. And part B1 has history, building construction and structural system, building services and sustainability. And in part B2 that is planning, we have regional and settlement planning, planning techniques and management and infrastructure planning. Now, in my previous videos, I have discussed in detail these labors, these sections, each section by section. I have discussed what kind of questions Gate, uh, Gate have been asking from these particular sections. What is the difficulty level? What are the topics that you need to go through? So if you will see uh, in the playlist, I have, uh, I have also added the link in the description below. Important topics that you can't miss that will help you a lot in your preparation. So you can go through those topics. Along with these topics, that is part uh, A common architecture and planning part, we have aptitude. 
You can also find the free material on our app Airy Academy. I will add all the links in the description below. You will find the uh, iOS and Android app link in the description. So on our platform, we provide classes for all these topics, including aptitude, because whosoever wants to see which topic you particular like, uh, you particularly like for yourself and where you are scoring the most, right? That is important for you to understand. And if you're someone who doesn't know yet which topic is your favorite topic in classes in college, maybe history was not something that interests you. But while you are preparing for gate, maybe history is something, uh, you know, that interests you the most. So. It can be anything because gate preparation is in itself a journey, a journey to know more about architecture field and to more about these topics. So I recommend you all to go through the topics at least once and see what all is there and what gate is asking. So in detail, study about the syllabus. What is the syllabus first? We give very less weightage to the syllabus, but it's very important to understand what all topics are there because there are multiple topics that we have not studied in colleges. Now moving on to the exam pattern. So there will be total 100 marks of questions, 65 questions will be there and general aptitude will be of 15 marks. So if we again dissect it, so general aptitude, it will have 10 questions out of which five questions will be of one mark and five questions will be of two marks. Then we have part A that is common part. So in this we will have 39 questions out of which 18 questions will be of one mark and 21 questions will be of two marks. Then we have part B1 or part B2 where we will have 16 questions. In these 16 questions, seven questions will be of one mark and nine questions will be of two marks. So in total, this is 100 marks where general aptitude will be of 15 marks. Then part A that is the compulsory part will be of 60 marks and part B1 or part B2 whichever part you are choosing will be of 25 marks. So that is the complete bifurcation of it. If you will ask me, I see here part A is the is something that has high weightage. So if you are someone who is watching my video in April, May or June, so I suggest start your preparation with part A. So that would be my suggestion. If you are starting after July, drop a comment below and so that I can tell you what to start at that time. Now, moving on to the type of questions that you will see in the exam. So we have multiple choice questions that is plus one and plus two marks. It can be either of one mark or two mark and there is negative marking on these type of questions. Then we have multiple select questions very important to tackle. So multiple select question, there is no negative marking on multiple select questions and they are of one mark or two mark. Now one more thing that you need to understand for multiple select question is that there is no partial marking. No partial marking in this particular type of question MSQ. What do I mean by partial marking is if the answer for a particular question is A, C, D and if you have ticked A and C, then also you will get zero marks for that particular question. Yes, that's the beauty of MSQ. Now, if all the options you have ticked correct, then only you will get plus one or plus two, but there is no negative marking on this, right? Now, uh, the next type is NAT, that is numerical answer type. This is also no negative marking is there for this particular type of question and it will be of one mark or two mark. And then we have match. So uh, match column A to column B and this, this will have negative marking plus two if you are getting the answer right and minus 0 0.66 negative marking on each and every question of match the following. Okay, I hope this is clear to everyone. Now, the last thing that I want to address here is our new batch is starting from 1st May 2025. And what you will get in the classes is live classes by IITNs and industry experts. And the recordings will be available to you till your gate exam preparation. And there will be curated ebooks and thousands of, you know, practice questions. There will be daily questions after each lecture. Plus there will be class notes that will be provided daily. And apart from that, there will be mock test, PYQ, section test, Everything is covered in this particular extensive course. Along with that, we also have Sunday interaction sessions in which I, I personally take those sessions and I address all the problems that you are facing. And one more exciting thing that is there is up till 30th April, 
there is offer going on that is flat 25% off you will get on this particular course and also along with that you can pay the amount in three easy installment but this is valid only till 30th April. So if you are someone who want to join the classes, so you can reach out to us on our number 9799333490 or you can reach out to us through any of the touch point that I have added in the description below. So all the very best everyone and if you are someone who wants to join the classes, you can reach out to us. I'll see you all in the next video.